Coach, just talk about uh, you know a game like this. You guys played North Fayette almost two months ago. You come back, you face them again in the playoffs. How tough is it to face a team a second time like that? Well, we were actually looking forward to it. We didn't think we played that good a ball game the first time we played them. And, you know, we had our chances tonight, and uh, in a few cases came up you know, a few feet short, a few feet too long on a few of those deep balls. And we had people open and just didn't quite get it there. But um, you know, the kids played a good game tonight, and you know, we had a great season. And I wish we could have had a couple things go the other way. You know? Talk about that first drive. How important was it to kind of catch them by surprise like that? Yeah, I, you know, our, our guys did a nice job blocking up front, I thought, on, on that drive. They did a good job um, getting into people and moving people. And, and, you know, we did a nice job passing the ball. And we hit the open receivers. And, you know, when you do good things, good things happen. So the kids did a nice job on that first drive. And I think, you know, it got us some momentum. And then, you know, we threw a pick a little bit later, and that kind of hurt us. But. Knowing how many points North Fayette can score, did you feel like you needed to put up points early and often? Well, we wanted to we wanted to control the ball, move the ball down the field, and they kept rolling up their corners on us, and we got guys that are fast, so we kept getting behind it. We just, for whatever reason, we just didn't quite have the timing down tonight. Okay, you were making some gains in the passing game there in that first half, but the second, I mean, you had the four interceptions, which hurt. Yeah. I think three of them were in their territory, and then the second half seemed like they were really able to crank up the pressure on the on the defensive line. Yeah, they started doing some stunt packages up front and blitzing some guys, and that hurt us. We, you know, we didn't block that real well. Okay. Just talk about their running game. Is it the best one in the state right now? Well, I think it's pretty deceptive, and and you know, I don't know what some of the other teams have out there, but they do a nice job. I mean, they've got you know some pretty good backs back there, and the, the offensive line does a nice job. I mean, it's kind of student body right, student body left kind of stuff, and you know, they move a lot of people around to throw those blocks, and you know, they they did a real nice job tonight, and, and you know, we had a hard time stopping them. You know, a lot of people thought that they were bound maybe for a state championship if they didn't run into Solon last year when they had Nesvik and Mork and some of those guys. Uh, are they as good this year with that running game? Oh, I think so. Yeah, I think they're as good, if not a little bit better, than they were last year. Okay. And just, just talk about what your team has coming back. You had a lot of juniors, at least in the skill positions. Just talk about uh, you know, what you take away from a playoff loss like this. Well, you know, we, like I said to the kids out there in the middle of the field when we were talking after the game, I said, you know, this is something to build off of. This isn't the, uh, this isn't the top of the mountain. We only got partway there. So, you know, we, we've got a lot of kids coming back next year. Almost all the skill position kids are back, and you know, we're just going to have to get going at it early here. We'll get in the weight room, get these guys going. Um, I, you know, we got some good linemen coming up here too that are sophomores. I think we got a couple of good juniors in there that played for us yet this year. So, you know, I think we'll get the offensive line back in shape and be ready to go. Uh, 